Hello everybody, this is Alex and today I'm going to talk about uh, different styles, uh, how to produce a quality sound in your head voice and also um, a lot of us don't have enough money for um, training with uh, different coaches and uh, buy different uh, vocal programs. So um, if you want to know uh, a few exercises that can help you develop your uh, connecting from your chest voice to a head voice and uh, <laughs> and get a really powerful uh, and, <laughs> and cool <laughs> voice that you dream um, this video is definitely for you so uh, I'm breaking down with a uh, first exercise and um, before we we get started uh, you need to know that you need to uh, drink a lot of water and uh, be hydrated. And also you need to be enough warming up. So the first um, warm up uh, exercise is um, like just only take a deep breath like with your nose and uh, try to <laughs> exhale with uh, your mouth like Like that. After that, uh, we do um, a little uh, massage, and um, a lot of us call it like fry, like uh, once again. Uh, okay. After that, you need to do a uh, slides with your uh, lip rolls, like. Once again, okay, and after that, just humming with your uh, comfort tone, like um, you can say, mm hmm, mm hmm, that's your comfortable tone for sure, and you need just to hum, like. Mm, also do uh, back and forth moves for uh, re release all the tension in that area and your larynx position and uh, all that musculature so once again mm, okay so the first exercise uh, this exercise is really simple, but don't forget about a um, really deep breath, taking breath, like deep and low. And uh, the second thing is um, your correct breath, breath uh, support, excuse me. So you need uh, to support your sound and uh, you need to feel like you're going to the bathroom or um, or you pushing too hard at the gym when you training and uh, lift weights. So that's that area. That's your gas pedal, and you need to push down, not in that way, like forward, but only in uh, down. And also, it will be pretty cool if you if you can uh, feel that support sensation right here at the back um, at your low back lower back back yeah and so every single note you need to send that's your diaphragmatic send from uh, your gas pedal pushing down right here and feeling that you support right here and your lower back okay so uh, uh, the first exercise is uh, lip rolls and it's really really um, helpful because um, your first exercise uh, will uh, release your strain musculature and uh, and you'll notice how your uh, vocal cords begin slides together and not to ah, but ah. so uh, try to produce um, that kind of sound, not but like uh, so 
five tone scale like that's all you need for uh, the begin and and notice um, how I damped my larynx so if that's my neutral position like that's my high position like and that's my low position like so for that exercise is is for sure you need to uh, to produce sound with your uh, damp larynx like not but like doppy sound okay And now, I'm breaking down a little bit right now because um, that's our first bridge uh, for the tenors. If you're male, uh, if you're a um, girl, your bridge will be right here, like um, mm, right here. And uh, for the male, is uh, D, and uh, from D above middle C, that's your. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait a minute, guys, because that cat is, is horrible, but he can produce a quality head tone, like... Come on, man. Do that. Yeah, that's compressed sound for sure. <laughs> okay, so uh, the first bridge, when your chest voice uh, connected uh, with your head tones and head voice and if you're untrained singer um, probably that can be uh, two problems the first problem if you'll do uh, that scale it can be sound like that and every single high note become more harder and difficult for to, to produce uh, that means that that means that uh, you're pushing your chest voice up like uh, uh. that's just like yelling that's not singing at all uh, except belting stuff but uh, that's more advanced stuff okay uh, the next problem if you're not doing and every single note become harder, difficult, and and um, the volume is up, 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 and more. So uh, the second problem, uh, you can notice that uh, a lot of us is just like flipping into falsetto sound, like just like that means uh, just the one thing that your vocal cords are just flipping and uh, don't stay together like uh, and uh, 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 and your uh, glottis is open and the vocal cords don't uh, come together so what we need to do and why that um, exercise is so helpful in that case um the first uh, thing um don't try to blow too much air every single high note don't need to be harder and um, and louder. You need to stay at the same volume as well and um, and try to think about uh, two things that uh, can help you to compress your vocal cords as well. The first thing is um, it's like cry. If you can cry, try to cry in your falsetto mode, like ah, ah, and with cry. Ah, ah. So, try to, to produ produce uh, that uh, crying sound like ah, but with your lip rolls, like <laughs> So, 
So try to do uh, that lip rolls with a little bit of crying, but with the damp larynx, not no, but with damp, it's like uh. once again. Okay, so the first bridge uh, is right here for the tenors, and uh, we'll we'll go further like. Okay, and um, another thing that can help you to support as well is um, sound like uh, uh. So if you notice, I'm do a little slide after each uh, repetition of that scale, five tone scale, like uh, I'm always supporting and uh, try to do a correct breath support like uh, uh. Like pushing down in that area and uh, feel like I'm supporting just from my uh, lower back. So, and each time I do, I feel like I'm supporting just from the beginning till the end, and after that, I'm do a slide to connect to my chest voice after I connect to my head voice. Because um, that's the bridge, the first bridge. And notice how, how the resonance travels from my chest to my head. You need to hear it, but uh, in that area, it'd be much better to hear and uh, recognize that um, how the sound quality and resonance move from the chest to your head. So, just listen. <laughs> If I'm, tr if I try to uh, push my chest up, it can be sound like that. And each note will be harder and difficult. Like. But what I'm doing. I'm connecting to to my uh, head voice. And every every single pitch stays at the same volume and uh, and my support as well stay the, at the same level. Not uh, just the same. And the same support and the same position Every, everything uh, stay the same okay so uh, for the guys for the male singers the, the first bridge I repeat uh, is right here is uh, the D um, above uh, middle C the girls is uh, on the octave above or like in the like B, B flat, something some like that here. Okay, so the first exercise is just lip rolls on the five tone scale. But you need to uh, st try to uh, stay your chords together, not but. Not who, but uh, so just cry like uh, uh, it helps really and for sure. Okay, the second, uh, the second exercise, the same technique like lip rolls, but on the octave scale, like. Okay, and um, another thing to remember, uh, each note uh, 
you need to feel like you sing the same note and in your uh, perspective like don't do like you don't need to just like catch in and hit those notes you need to stay at the same position like the same position that's the key for the success uh, okay uh, let's go uh, further uh, Just a little cry. And support. Really relaxed uh, style. And I just uh, pass in my uh, first bridge, like here. And, and now I'm connecting to my uh, head voice. Okay, two um, octaves is cool. Okay, and the next thing we go a little bit further, and uh, the scale sounds like. Now we have um, a little bit bigger area and try. And we need to try to uh, stay at the same position. That's the key for the success. So... I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not a good keyboard player, so... So that scale helps. Okay, after that, if you uh, become more comfortable doing like and you feel that you are connected without uh, flipping to the falsetto sound, like without this or without if you feel like you're strain in that area and um, pushing too hard and every single higher pitch becomes more difficult to produce that's for sure you are pushing up just towards like Ooh! and if you if you are uh, slipping into the falsetto mode like Ooh! that means that you are not uh, compressing enough your vocal cords so do a little bit of cry like ah, ah! And in your lip rolls, like it's really simple. Okay, after that, five tone scale, but now we'll humming. Like, but you need to know we don't need to push hard, like, no, just uh, imagine you are walking down the street and just like. So simple without a or stay connected. Like, if you're really straining and, and pushing too hard, like that's the problem because every single note, uh, more louder and uh, and, and more strained, and you feel in your throat and in, in your larynx to, to, to push in hard with the sensations. Okay, so. <coughs> try to apply the same technique just cry like if you're sound like mm, try to do that with cry like mm, not mm, but mm, okay and apply that technique on the five tone scale come on
the same position with cry. Mm -hmm. Cry and support. Mm -hmm. That's my bridge first. Mm -hmm. Cry and support. Mm -hmm. And keep your chords together like ah. And also I can do a little slide to my chest words like mm, Okay mm, To my chest words mm, Okay <clears throat> So that just happened with a little bit of cry on the five tone scale and don't forget to stay at the same position and don't try to do I call the deepness like every single note become more deep like mm, that's terrible and that means that you are anchoring yourself the your chest voice you need to uh, work in the same position like mm, and every single note you need to produce at the same position Okay, uh, so don't do a deepness thing, like every single note uh, sounds like more deep and deep and deep and, and really uh, darker and darker, like No, stay at the same position, like And try to cry uh, to prevent uh, flipping into the falsetto mode, like, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. okay. The next, the same octave scale. Mm -hmm. And you can do a little uh, slide, like Okay, <clears throat> so the octave scale, and after that, the same thing as we do before. Uh, mm, oh man, mm, oh, mm, uh, octave and a half. Okay, that's with harmony, and after that, you can do the open vowel. Ah, and do on the five tone scale. Ah, 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 and cry. Ah, and here's the first bridge. And listen how I just try to connect my chest voice to my head voice without pushing like ah, without any yelling but ah, cry ah, Uh, 
uh, you can, as you notice, if I really relax, uh, you can notice uh, that in some pitch my vocal cords are vibrating and not in controlled manner and that's okay because that's the bridge and that's that area when your uh, um, chest musculature that work with your uh, vocal cords in that manner turn the gear and in that direction when vocal cords slipping like that from that okay and it's like uh, uh, once again uh, it's so thin it's so like uh, listen and here uh, not so stable, but with uh, good support, diaphragmatic sand, and uh, if I'm supporting from my lower back, and just do a little of cry, and also compress my vocal cords and a bow compression like twang, like ah 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 It's more stable. Okay, we go a little bit further, like... And cry! And so on and so on. After that, as you know, the second uh, scale. Okay. <laughs> and cry. <laughs> and don't forget about about the vocal cords to compress and do um, a lot of uh, teachers and coaches call it twang like ah uh, ah. Uh. Notice the uh, the note without above vocal cord compression, like uh, and uh, uh, like quack, 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 mac, 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 eh, 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 eh. So do a little bit of that compression, not like uh, but uh, 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 Okay, and after that, as you know, uh, oh sh, <clears throat> uh, once again, and cry and ah uh, uh, a little bit. Uh, And that scale. So I just put uh, passing my bridge and everything sounds okay. And uh, that's uh, three exercises. 
I mean uh, three techniques that you can apply and do every day from day to day and I guarantee that your uh, you can find your uh, one voice that you dream about and uh, your singing becomes more effortlessly and uh, become more easy and every single high note will be more simple to produce uh, don't forget about water and be hydrated as well because um, as you hear um, the last exercise uh, you can hear you'll hear probably um, not too much but a little bit of uh, cracking like uh, uh, stay uh, hydrated okay so tr three uh, simple exercise first lip rolls second humming and open vowel ah like ah 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 with uh, a little bit of twang or i call this um above vocal cord compression like ah 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 like ah, ah. Okay, so three simple exercises, but with good, with taking good breath, like, and proper breath support. You need to support and push down here and feel the support sensation in your lower back. Do this three exercises every day, and you become a really professional singer with a good quality of your uh, vocal sound. Uh, that was Alex Schellst and uh, for more info you can uh, send me email or uh, check my um, Skype and we can do a private lesson and I'll break it down f just for you in individual style. Okay, thanks for watching, uh, see you soon, bye.